hey guys welcome back to the youtube video so in this video i'm actually going to be sharing how i have my loom requested form integrated with zapier and slack this is something that we offer in our instagram done for you setup and i just wanted to showcase you because i really couldn't find a very simple tutorial on how you can link your google form with zapier to directly uh, come into slack so i just thought i'll showcase this to you guys so as you can see we've got zapier open right here you can just make a free account uh, we've got the form copy of the form that uh, we're going to be using. So you can see the form is for when a prospect asks for a loom, uh, whatever the name of your client may be. And then you've got name of prospect, Instagram handle of prospect. Does the prospect have a YouTube channel already? This is done for their offer. If yes, the channel link and any notes. So we'll just come to our dashboard right over here. All we need to do is click on create a zap. Uh, we'll be taken to a new zap. Uh, over here, we'll be selecting Google Forms as our option. Under Google Forms, we want new form response. Under new form response, we'll click continue. It'll ask us to choose a Google account. Now, if you've never used, uh, you've never used uh, Zapier before, you'll have to link your Google Forms right over here. We'll click on continue and you'll see all your forms over here. Here we have copy of Loom requested form and we click continue. And it'll say we'll find a recent form response. You can just test your trigger. It'll test it automatically. If they found, if there's nothing, they'll just add in a sample. You'll click continue. And we want to connect to Slack. So we click Slack right over here. And we'll choose an event. Now we want a send channel message. We click continue. Now you'll uh, sync your Slack again. You'll click on continue right over here. And under your channel, you can just pick whatever channels. For example, I'll just pick, uh, let's see, let me just pick a meetings book channel or something where it's just me. Hmm. I can't seem to find it. Here you go. So you'll just go on meetings book. Now you'll be taken to this page. Now what you want in your message will be put over here. So for example, I want, hey, X, Y, Z. Here's a new Loom request. And then we'll click enter and we want what all we want from for the message to show. So we want first of all the name of the prospect, then we click enter, then we want the Instagram handle of the prospect, then we'll click enter uh, and any notes. I just want these three and if i wanted to send it as a bot i'll choose yes if i choose no it will go under my name so i want to send it as a bot yes i want the bot name to be loom request uh what icon you can add or no i don't want to include a zap link so i click no uh, i don't want any image i don't want any auto expand i don't want to schedule this i don't want any of this you can choose whatever you want you click continue and it'll ask you to test you can just click on test and continue and right over here, you can see on my Slack channel, we have the message. And all you need to do is click Publish Zap. We'll just publish and turn this on. And it'll take a minute or so. And there you go. You've got your Zap set in. And that's, that's as easy as it is. You can connect any Google form to your Slack just using this. You don't need to do anything else. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the short tutorial. And if you did, hit the like button and subscribe. If you want more of these videos, uh, please let me know down below and I'll be happy to shoot them for you. Talk to you soon. Bye.